Welcome to this short introduction to mixing FireMonkey and VCL in your Delphi applications, all using RimObjects Hydra. Real quick, Hydra does support both Delphi and .NET, so that's what I'm going to focus on here today. On the Delphi side, you have Win32 and Win64 available to you. Now, there's also Mac OS X, but Hydra doesn't support that. We're going to stick to just the Windows platform today. On the Delphi side, we have existing VCL applications or new VCL applications, as well as the new FireMonkey controls. FireMonkey controls are called FireMonkey HD or the 3D controls that allow you to do some things you couldn't previously do easily with VCL. On the .NET side, you have WinForms, Silverlight, and WPF, three different paradigms for building user interfaces, all three different and specialized for different purposes. Now, by default, these are all separated. They're each individual silos. You cannot mix VCL and FireMonkey. You cannot mix WinForms and Silverlight, and you cannot mix WPF and Silverlight, or any of these cannot be mixed together. And you especially can't mix Delphi and .NET. So you have to choose exactly which silo your application is going to live in, and your application is stuck there. It cannot move between the two. That's where Hydra comes in play. Hydra creates this bridge, allowing you to combine any of these together. So you can combine VCL and Silverlight, you can combine FireMonkey and WPF, or what we're going to focus on today is combining FireMonkey and VCL. So not only can you combine the visual elements, but you can also combine the functional elements. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to take an existing VCL application and put a FireMonkey visual control in that VCL application. Likewise, you can take a new FireMonkey application and bring forward some of the existing Delphi VCL visual components and put that in your FireMonkey application. And likewise, as I mentioned earlier, you can also mix in WinForms, Silverlight, and WPF. So let's go ahead and take a look at using Hydra in action. Let's get started by jumping into Delphi XE2. Now, Hydra does support previous versions of Delphi as well. So if you're, for example, have an application you're maintaining in Delphi 7, Hydra is a great way to bring that application forward and get some XE2 features into it, whether it be FireMonkey or something else. So you can build your host application in Delphi 7 and then your plugins in Delphi XE2 or vice versa. For right now, I'm going to do both the host application and the plugin in XE2. I'm going to build a VCL application from scratch You've most likely already got one that works, but this way you can see exactly what goes into making it work with Hydra. And we'll run our application. And now we have our existing working VCL application. So like I said, this is a situation you're most likely in now. You have an application that works. It does what you want it to do, and it's built using the VCL. But you see something in FireMonkey that you want to incorporate into your application, and you don't want to throw out what you have that already works. That's where Hydra comes into play. So let me show you what it takes to wire in Hydra. It's really quite simple. Once you have Hydra installed, you just need a Hydra module manager. The Hydra module manager is the component that loads up Hydra plugin modules and allows you to work with them in your application. At this point, I'm ready to wire in a plugin, but let's go ahead and make a plugin first. In the Rim Objects Hydra projects, we have three different options here. Host application creates a host application similar to like we just did with the Hydra module manager already in place. If you've already got an existing host application, you don't need to use that. A plugin module is a DLL that contains one or more Hydra plugins, okay? So once you run the plugin module wizard, it actually starts the Hydra plugin wizard next. But once you have an existing DLL, you can come back and run this wizard again to add more plugins, because you can have multiple plugins in a single plugin module. We're gonna go ahead and run the plugin module wizard. And we wanna make a FireMonkey plugin. We're gonna save it in the default location here. And we'll call it FMX plugin library. And we'll just leave everything else the defaults. So now our library has been created here, and now it's running us through the plugin wizard. I'm going to create a visual plugin, and we'll leave the name default. 
and that's it. So one last thing here it does have is it prompts us to use packages. Now if you have a VCL host and a VCL plugin, then you need to use runtime packages. But with a VCL host and a FireMonkey plugin, you do not need to use VCL packages. You don't have to use runtime packages. Or when you are deploying multiple binaries, it usually is a good idea to use runtime packages anyway because it can reduce your deployment size. Instead of having to link the individual parts into each individual binary, when you use runtime packages, you just deploy the packages once and you don't have to have the linked version of that. But that's a choice you could make. Like I said, if you're doing a VCL application with a FireMonkey plugin, you do not need runtime packages. This is the beta version of the wizard. I suspect in the release version it'll probably prompt you with that here. So there we go. This is our FireMonkey design surface. So I'm going to go ahead and wire this up to do something look interesting. So there we go, 3D text is kind of cool, but even better is 3D animated text. So let's put a little animation on here. So that will rotate it along the Y axis from zero to 360 degrees over two seconds. So now when I added this, it changed this to be my active project, but I want to actually switch back to project one, otherwise it'll give me a warning about not being able to debug a DLL. And also, if I just compile and run right now, it's only going to compile my active project. So I've moved down the Compile All Projects button here, and that way it'll compile both my host application and my plugin. Of course, it has to save it first. So now I've got my DLL built. So let's go ahead and wire it into our host application. We need a place to display it and I like to use a panel. You can use any wind control. And this is just a location where we're gonna tell it to paint the visual component. And now we can wire the control, the wire the plugin in here. We go into the constructor or our create event handler and we tell the Hydra module manager to load a module and it is fmx plugin library dll. So now this loaded in the plugin module. Once we've loaded in the plugin module, now we can create instance of the plugin within there. And again, we go to the Hydro module manager. We say create visual plugin. That's what we're gonna use, but I just wanna point out, you can also create non-visual plugins or manage plugins. Manage plugins would be a plugin that is created with .NET using C Sharp, Oxygen, or any other .NET language. Plugin name is new visual plugin and remember we specified that in the wizard if you forget the name of the plugin you can always look there and find the name of the plugin again or change it the next parameter we provide is an out for an instance of it now the instance is going to be the reference we're going to use locally to reference that plugin i'm going to go ahead and call it f plugin and then i'll define that later and then we can also specify the parent control for this plugin. If we don't specify the parent control now, we can later call F plugin and say show parented and pass in the parent control. Now remember our parent control is the panel that we just laid down. And now this is wired up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and declare our plugin. In order to do that, we need to actually load one more unit in here. Load that unit in there and we declare F plugin is a HY visual plugin. And since we've created an instance of this plugin, we need to release that instance and we can do that through the destroy event handler on the form. And we just say Hydra module manager dot release instance. And we pass in the instance again, which is F plugin. When the Hydra module manager 
component is destroyed, it will call unload modules on all the modules that have been loaded and unload those DLLs for us automatically. But we do need to manually release that instance. So now we'll go ahead and hit compile again. And everything should be ready to go. So we'll hit run. And there we go. Here is our VCL application with the FireMonkey plugin in there. Let's go ahead and make this a little more interactive though. So let's go back to our plugin module. So we're going to put an event handler on this button and we're going to add a new animation here. So we're going to say, so this is going to rotate on the X axis through 360 degrees over two seconds. And let's go ahead and put an event on here on change. And I'll let's update that text. So we'll go ahead and hit compile all projects and run. So here we go. Now notice my focus is right here in this edit control. I'm going to hit tab and it goes to the button like we'd expect. And now the list box. Now watch this. I hit tab again. It jumps down and you can barely see this button got a little shadow on it. And I hit tab again and it jumps into the edit box. I hit shift tab and it comes back out again. If you've ever tried to create a plugin framework from scratch, you know that getting the tab order to work correctly is a major pain. So let's go ahead and use the space bar to evoke that button there. And we see it starts rotating on the other axis and we will change this to say rocks there we go hydro rocks very cool hope you've enjoyed this short demo here of using hydra to add fire monkey functionality to your delphi vcl application one thing i will show you is we do also support 64-bit so i'm gonna come in here and say add platform 64-bit now 64-bit host application needs a 64-bit plugin Whenever you change from 32-bit to 64-bit, you're going to make sure you use the build all projects instead of compile. Otherwise, Delphi leaves a few things out there that haven't been switched from 32-bit to 64-bit. And we run this again. And boom. Can't tell, but it is 64-bit now. The same principles I've showed you work the same if you're using VCL plugins or if you're working between different versions of Delphi, or if you're bringing in .NET plugins. Also, it's very similar if you're taking your existing Delphi application and turning it into a plugin that can then be used in a .NET application. One thing I didn't show you, but is very cool, and there are plenty of demos that come with Hydra that will show you this, is that you can actually make this interface here, you can subclass, you can descend from this interface in the plugin and have this plugin implement that interface and then use that interface here. And what that allows you to do is to have the plugin expose methods and parameters and properties that can then be called from the host application. And then likewise, you can have the host application define an interface that the plugin then instantiates an instance of internally. And then the plugin can call back out to the host application. And so what that allows you to do is it allows, for example, to have this button on the VCL side cause the change to happen down here in the FireMonkey side. Or you can have this button here cause a change up on the VCL side. So really it further integrates the two halves of the application, making it a much more seamless experience for the user, giving the user best of both worlds. Now that functionality works whether you're combining .NET VCL, FireMonkey, etc. Whatever you want to combine together, the same principles work to combine those. So I mentioned earlier, this is the beta of Hydra for FireMonkey. The release should be out soon. All current subscribers can download the current beta now. And if you wait for the release, if you are not a current subscriber, you can get the free 30-day trial at that point. Although I recommend go ahead and sign up now, get the beta, start playing with this, and put the power of FireMonkey through Hydra in your current VCL applications. Thank you very much.